Chemistry lecture number 20, atomic mass unit and atomic mass. First, we're going to talk about atomic mass unit. How is the mass of a single atom measured? Well, this is done by comparing the mass of an atom to the mass of a standard atom. And carbon-12, which is made of six protons and six neutrons, was chosen as the standard atom. So they had to pick a standard atom in the same way that when we measure mass, I guess water is the substance that's the uh, standard against which we uh, measure things. Anyway, one-twelfth the mass of a carbon-12 atom is defined as an atomic mass unit. And that means that the mass of carbon-12 atom is also defined as exactly 12 AMU. So the mass of atoms is measured in atomic mass units. So what they did was that they took the carbon-12 atom and they said, by definition, uh, carbon-12 has a mass exactly equal to 12.0000 all the way out to infinity atomic mass units. For example, um, Sulfur-36 has a mass of 35.9670 atomic mass units, which is roughly three times the mass of carbon-12. So that's how heavy a Sulfur-36 uh, nuclide is. Now when you express uh, atomic mass units, or when expressed in atomic mass units, the mass of the atom is approximately equal to the number of protons and neutrons it has. So Sulfur-36 has 36 protons and neutrons, and you notice that it's measured mass, <coughs> excuse me, is 35.9, which is just a little bit short of the uh, 36 we have there. So when you see how many atomic mass units uh, are there, it comes pretty close to the total number of protons and neutrons in the uh, nuclide. Here's another example. Uh, nitrogen-14 has a mass of 14.003074 atomic mass units. And guess what? It has a total, a total of uh, 14 protons and neutrons. So nitrogen-14 has 7 protons and 7 neutrons, which equals 14, which is pretty close to what we have here for the atomic mass units. Now also, instead of writing atomic mass units, we just write the letter U. So we could write the mass of uh, nitrogen-14 as 14.003078 AMU, or we could just write 14.003074 U. So in some chemistry books, they just use AMUs. In some chemistry books, they use U. So it just depends on what chemistry book you're using. One atomic mass unit is uh, 1.6605 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. So that's this number with 24 zeros in front of it, which is a really tiny number. So the only point of just showing this little fact is to show that an atomic mass unit is really tiny. Well, basically it's the mass of a single atom, or a proton maybe. All right, let's talk about atomic mass. Now, how would you figure out the average height of your school basketball team? Now, suppose your basketball team had 10 members. And three of the players are five feet tall, six of them are six feet tall, and one player is seven feet tall. So here's how you would calculate the average height of the basketball team. You have three players who are five feet tall, six players who are six feet tall, and one player is seven feet tall. And then there are a total of ten players. So. 3 times 5 is 15, 6 times 6 is 36, 1 times 7 is 7. Add all these up, you get 58. 58 divided by 10 is 5.8. So when you take the average of something, you just add up all the values, and you divide it by the total number of values that you have. And the same thing is done when you figure out atomic mass. Now in chemistry, we use the average mass of an element. Most elements have two or more isotopes, so if you ask, you know, how much does a certain atom weigh? Well, which atom? This isotope or that isotope of the atom? Well, you take the average. So, anyway, most elements have two or more isotopes. So we take the average mass of the isotopes when we ask for the mass of an element. Uh, atomic mass is the average mass of the isotopes of an element. And the relative abundance of each isotope is used to calculate the average. For example, in nature, there exist two isotopes of lithium, lithium-6 and lithium-7. So if you had a bag full of lithium and started sorting through of it, uh, some of it would be lithium-6 and some of it would be lithium-7. Uh, now, lithium-6 has a mass of 
15121 atomic mass units and a percent abundance of 7.5%. And the isotope lithium-7 has a mass of 7.016003 atomic mass units and a percent abundance of 92.5%. And the question is, what's the atomic mass of lithium, given these facts? And here's how we sort of uh, figure it out. But first, let me tell you what percent abundance means. Well, if lithium-6 has a 7.5% abundance, it means that if you had 100 lithium atoms, out of that 100 lithium atoms, 7.5 of them would be lithium-6. And likewise, a 92.5% abundance of lithium-7 means that out of 100 lithium atoms that you find in nature, 92.5 of them will be lithium-7. All right, so here's our facts so far. We have lithium-6. It has a 7.5% abundance, and that's how heavy it is, 6.015. Lithium-7, in nature, 92.5% of all lithium atoms are lithium-7, and each lithium-7 isotope weighs 7.016003 atomic mass units. So, to find the average mass of all these lithiums is solved the same way as figuring out the average height of the basketball players. So, you remember that we had the number of basketball players at a certain height. Here we have the number of lithium atoms at this mass. So, 7.5% abundance, and of these 7.5, atoms, they weigh this much, so 7.5 times 6.015121, and then 92.5 of the lithium isotopes that exist weigh that much, so 92.5 times that. So if you do the mass, math, you'll get this number, and this number I'm just going to round it to 6.941, and I'm going to show you uh, why in just a minute. Now look for lithium on your periodic chart. I'm going to run off and get a periodic chart, and you go get your periodic chart too. I'll be right back. I'm back, and I've got my periodic chart. So look for lithium on your periodic chart, and if you look on the, your periodic chart, there's going to be a number in here that's in decimals, and the number in decimals is going to be the atomic mass. And what is the atomic mass of uh, lithium that you uh, find? Well, it's not 6.015. 121, it's not 7.06003, those were the masses of the two different isotopes, but what you do find is 6.941 atomic mass units, which is the average mass of the two isotopes. And let me hold this up, and I think you might be able to see it. Yeah, you can I hold it right. See how it says 6.941 for the uh, mass of the uh, average mass of lithium? So all these values on here are average atomic masses. So for nitrogen it says 14.007. That's the average mass of the different types of nitrogen atoms. Um, for oxygen, 15.999. That's the average mass of the different isotopes of oxygen. So that means the periodic chart gives the average mass of the isotopes for an element. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture Number 20, Atomic Mass Unit and Atomic Mass.